for I am with you. Mm -hmm. Be not dis be dismayed, for I am your God. Amen. I will strengthen you, and I will help you. Amen. Yea, I will uphold you with the right hand of my righteousness. Amen. 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 Okay, just give me thanks, Father God. We're here, Lord. Because of you, Lord. That's the only reason, Father God. You began a good walk in each one of us, Lord. Thank you, Father God, for your promises, Lord. You said you would finish it, Lord. And we just surrender this whole time into your hands, Father God. All of this is your doing, Lord. And we're looking to you, Lord, this morning, Lord, to continue the wonderful work that you're doing in our hands, Lord. We rejoice just in knowing you, Lord, this morning, Lord. Just knowing you, Lord. Just thank you, Lord. And what you're showing us and leading us into, Lord, we rejoice in that as well, Lord. Thank you, Father, Lord. Thank you for each and every person, Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. In a minute, Breed, I want to share something, but it's okay. And if there's nothing else on your heart you want to say, <coughs> just step up, just let me know, just step up and say it, you know. Don't carry it, don't bring it home with you, you know. Okay. <coughs> so, <coughs> and this morning, I'm taking a look, just you can see the title here. Let them have dominion, you know. Now, I just want to say before Breda comes up that, uh, you know, God is putting new wine, not into old wineskins, into new wineskins, you know. Um, so we have to stand in the place all the time of the new creations, you know. You can't afford to be thinking about yourself any, as anything else, glory to God. You really can't afford because you're blocking the spirit, you know. You're, you're denying the work of Christ. He's made us new creations, Father God. And we stand in agreement with that. We stand then to put new wine into the new wine skin, you know. You know what I mean? And the wine is a life, it's new wine by the way, where there's light, the light begins to flow. But then it can flow through right, to others as well, you know. But it's so important that we in a, we're in agreement. And I know you may not be feeling great, especially Saturday mornings. <laughs> but, but whatever you may be feeling great, but that's nothing to do with it, okay? It's nothing to do with the way you feel, the way you think. The truth is you're a new creation. Amen. Okay. Amen. And that's the truth. And that will be, you know, knowing the truth is what makes us free. Glory Amen. to God. Amen. So we just, we just agree with that. You don't want to be rotten, you know. Just agree with that. Glory to God. We're Amen. feeling rotten as well. <laughs> but it's still the truth. <laughs> okay, so I just want to <clears throat> just thank you, Lord, again. So, Breen, if I never, never really good, you can yeah. hop up there. Yeah. You kind of said what some things I wanted to say. <laughs> <laughs> Anyway, glasses is the most important thing. Anyway, I think it's a wonderful blessing to be here again uh, this morning. Um, you know, wherever two or three are gathered in his name, there he is in the midst of them. Amen. And not only that, just in listening to the words as well, like it, it's wonderful. I know mm -hmm. I've, I've missed these times, but the Lord has time for everything, hasn't he? So, um, and just on a couple of things I want to say, but um, you reminded <coughs> me there when you were talking about having dominion. Um, it was my birthday recently, and uh, of course, you're in the natural, you're a year older, you know, and it's very easy to start thinking about, oh my lord, you know, such and such a number of ages looming, you know. Mm -hmm. And uh, for I've been standing in the ground, on the ground, but I am, as you say, I'm a new creation in the Lord. And, um, you know, I'm saying, you know, in the Lord, I'm, I'm, no, I'm no older. My natural body might be older, but I'm no older. Yeah. And I was sharing this with somebody recently. And uh, she said back to me, I, I was saying to her, you know, I'm eternal in the Lord, I'm not a year old, you know. And she said back to me, well, try telling the revenue that. So, but, you know, I felt, you know, the drag of back down to the board, you know, like, oh, Lord, you're getting a pension in like 10 years' time. <laughs> but, you know, like, we have to stand, <laughs> or is it 20 years' time? I would say. <laughs> but that's the ground we need to stand on, like you were saying, you know, in every aspect of our lives, you know. So, anyway, what was really touching me was healing, and I presume you want to talk about healing, because um, that's what we were getting yeah. together this morning for. And I know that it's becoming more and more alive in me about mm -hmm. how the Lord, it's his will to heal people. He has already done it. And like where I was praying there earlier on, um, I was going to read it as well, if we can, um, Isaiah 53, which we, verses that we know very well, 
It says, Surely he has borne our griefs and carried our sorrows, and we did, did esteem him stricken and smitten of God and afflicted. For he was wounded for our trans transgressions, and he was bruised for our iniquities. The chastisement of our peace was upon him, and with his stripes we are healed. Mm -hmm. So that's just the truth. Mm -hmm. No matter what you're feeling this morning, mm -hmm. uh, that's the truth, and that's mm -hmm. the ground on which to stand in. Um, and there's so many other verses in the Bible as well that says the same. I woke up this morning, my eyes were sore again, and I kind of thought, oh no. And then the child came to me, no, I'm healed, and that's, I'm staying in that ground. And I was all excited because I was feeling well on Wednesday night, but I'm still excited today because if it's an ongoing thing, then that's fine. So, um, yeah, praise, so, the praise the Lord, yeah. So, yeah, a few other things I wanted to say, sorry. In uh, 1 Peter 2, verse 4, it says that we have been made whole. 1 Peter 2, verse 24, it says that we have been made whole. And that's that's for everybody. And in the Amplified, it was saying, for those who believe. So it's all about that as well. What are we going to believe today? You know, we're going to believe in the Lord and what he has done. And he's done that for everybody. And he says also that they lay, will lay hands on the sick and they will recover. Amen. So, I mean, you know, that's the commission. The Lord told us to go out and to lay hands on the thing. So, um, yeah, so that's the ground that we stand on, you know, and that we believe the Lord as well. Like, there's so many different elements and us, isn't there? Mm -hmm. You know, whether it's a little thing or a big thing, you know, and we continue to believe the Lord for the manifestation yeah. of what he has done. Mm -hmm. And, um, you know, Dean was mentioning to me recently, he saw somebody in a wheelchair and he had this unction to go and to pray with that person. You know, and we've all had, and we're beginning to have more and more experiences like that. Um, I go to a dancing class, as you know, and I've been praying that the Lord would open up opportunities for me to share the Lord with people. I was talking to this man last week, and uh, he was telling me about a self work that he had. And um, I just said, you know, well, we can, we can pray with that. You know, and then it turned out he'd mixed up and all sorts of stuff. But like it took courage for me to do it, mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. and um, I think the Lord is leading us in us in it mm -hmm. more and more, not mm -hmm. to think of ourselves, oh, that's just, that's breed or that's Anthony, you know, it is Anthony and it is breed, but it's the Lord in us. Mm -hmm. So for all the things that he wants to do in and through us, okay, mm -hmm. despite what anybody might think about us or, you know, Richard was talking to family members the other night, you know, they know everything about us, if you like, mm -hmm. uh, but the Lord knows far more mm -hmm. and he knows who we are and what we are in him. So I just want to encourage myself and everybody today to believe the Lord for, you know, okay. for all that he has done. Anybody else know? Yeah, no, i just seen a small thing on Facebook. I thought it was funny. It said, these signs will follow them that. Mm. And then it says, our pastors are this or that. Oh, it right. says, <laughs> believe, you know? Yeah, yeah. Believe just believe. That's, that's great. Yeah. Just believe. Yeah. 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 And we're all yeah. believers here, yeah. isn't that right? Yeah. 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 That's good. good. Hey, to put your phone on, on silent if you can. Just to put my hand on the bed. It was all. Glory to God. We keep putting this thing down. Is it behind the box? Look around yeah. the chair. Behind your oh, yeah. oh, thing. Very good. You know, you know, something before I went to bed last night, I, I was reading something and God told me, he said he said uh, you know, it, it just whispered in my heart, he said, <clears throat> yeah, I, I, you've come out of God, you know. I came from God. You know, all of us and I know it's true of every single one of us, but you came from God, you know. Yeah. Glory to God, and you're going to go. You're going back to God, just like Jesus. I came from the, the Father, and I'm going back to the Father. You know, mm -hmm. and <clears throat> because the Bible says that Jesus is the true light that lights every man that comes into the world. Mm -hmm. the world. Now He couldn't possibly be the true light of every person coming into the world. He couldn't be unless you came out of Him. You know, mm -hmm. think about it for a minute. Because mm -hmm. if you came from somewhere else, how could He be a true light? Mm -hmm. He couldn't be. The truth is that you came out from him to begin with. You're going through him. And you're going back to him, glory to God. <laughs> you're going back to him, yeah? And that's who we are. <laughs> I think that's great. Now that is sustain. Just like Jesus, I came out from him. I'm going back to him, you know. Because you know we're pilgrims in this world, aren't we? We're, we're passing through. We're just pilgrims, you know. And you're here, just like Jesus says, I have come, he says, to bear witness. Remember he stood before Pontius Pilate, was it? 
<coughs> I have come <coughs> to bear witness to the truth. So you're, you're, what you, that's what you've done, you're bearing witness to the truth. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. In your experience, in your life, in your words, in your, everything about you. Mm -hmm. You're bearing witness to the truth of, the, of this world, of this life, of your people, of everything, you know. That's a calling, we're bearing witness to it as we go through. Amen? Amen. Amen. <laughs> So that was a good start anyway. Thank you, Lord. <clears throat> now I have this thing, uh, let them have dominion. Because that's, that's where we are. God gave dominion unto men. Now you might be waiting, waiting to have it, you know. <laughs> we already, I know, we already have all things. Glory to God in Christ. So what we're actually called to, that's the word of God is true, okay. The word of God is true. Recording, yeah? <clears throat> yeah, thanks Mike, yeah. And I know it may not be grafted in to a whole lot because that's what God is doing. God is grafting the world. Anything that has to be in life, any seed has to take root. Mm. Any seed has to take root, doesn't it? It just doesn't fall mm. to go and spring up straight away. You've got a head of cabbage. <clears throat> Whatever it is, you know, it has to take root. And it's like even like a man and a woman getting together, having a child, that woman has to conceive. The word of God has to conceive in us, you know. Mm -hmm. <coughs> Glory to God, and then, then it brings forth after its own kind. Mm -hmm. And the own kind is Christ in the meaning. That's, you know what I mean? It's bringing forth, that's the seed that's planted in us. That's the seed that fell to the ground. Glory to God, like Jesus says, <coughs> you know, unless a grain that we fall into the ground and dies, it remains alone. Mm -hmm. That's the seed, we're the yet. We're the yet invested. The seed has fallen into us. Isn't that right? And it has to bring forth after its own kind. That's exactly what it's doing. Mm -hmm. So our confession has to agree with all of that, you know. Mm -hmm. It has to agree that that's who we are. You know, and then you're in agreement with God. And the Spirit of God is just pouring it into us, yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, all the time. Mm -hmm. And it's really a recognition. All you're doing and all we're doing here today is recognizing what God has done, you know. Mm -hmm. Do you know what I mean, Nick? And <clears throat> recognition of it and understanding and receiving it and acknowledging it. That's all we're doing. Mm. The Spirit of God actually does that for us. He, he witnesses, bears witness to us within and says, What do you think of this, Noel? Mm. <laughs> or Richard, have you seen this, Richard? <laughs> you know, and he, yeah, I've seen that. That's who I am. Yeah. You know, it's that recognition and it, it, well, another way of saying as well, waking up. Glory to God. Wake up from your sleep. Remember we said that in Ephesians chapter 5. Wake up from your sleep and sleep and Christ will shine upon you. You know, mm -hmm. the whole idea of waking up, glory to God. Your fullness and the truth of our identity in Christ, yeah? Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so we're already in dominion. We're not going looking for it, okay? Or waiting for it. We're in it. Mm -hmm. So, and the only thing that has to be done now is to exercise it. <laughs> yeah. Okay? It has to be exercised. <coughs> Glory to God. Thank you, Lord. So let them have dominion. <clears throat> By the way, I'm only looking at uh, a kind of a, a, a basic thing to today, a kind of basic way of looking at it, just to give us an understanding for it before we go into a whole lot of other things. Okay? Mm -hmm. <clears throat> okay. This is where it comes from. Genesis 1.26. We've covered many of these verses before, but they're, they're new every morning. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Isn't that right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Then God said, Let us make man in our image according to our likeness. Okay. Glory to God, that's who we are. And let them have dominion. So we're in the likeness of God already. And we're in dominion. Okay? Mm -hmm. So even even man in the natural today, look, you know he's the highest being on the planet. You know, in that sense he has dominion. You know. <clears throat> he may not be making a great job of it, the natural man. But there is one thing about it, he's, he's expressing dominion in one form or another, okay? Over the fish of the sea, <clears throat> the birds of the air, and over the cattle, over all the earth, okay? Over all the earth. Mm -hmm. And over every creeping thing that creeps on the earth. <laughs> Glory to God. So, <clears throat> we have that dominion. And it, we, it was lost, as you know, to the, the devil, Satan, okay? But Christ restored it. It has already been restored. Okay. <clears throat> and here we have a thing here, the Psalm, Psalm chapter 8, verses 4 to 9. What is man that you are mindful of him? Glory to God. For God is mindful all the time of each one of us. Okay? Mindful all the time. And the Son of Man, and that we know that's Christ, okay, the Son of Man, 
that you have visited him, for you have made him a little lower than the angels, and you have crowned him. Now man, he's identifying man with the son of man. He's putting us all into the one, the one sentence, you might say, okay? So he's speaking about all of us. The son of man is just leading us into these things, okay? And you have crowned him with glory and honour. And that includes all of us as well, okay? All of us. The Bible says that we're going from glory to glory. You know? He is crowned because of what Christ has done. We're now all being crowned with glory, okay? <clears throat> and you have made him to have dominion over the works of your hands, okay? That's fantastic, isn't it? The works of God's hands. We were actually made for the meaning. <laughs> so when you actually when you start moving in some other way, you know, in captivity or as a slave or coming under something, that's not what you were made for. In other words, you were only made to know the meaning. It's the only thing I recognise, you know. Do you know what I mean? So you have to you have to have that kind of confidence that I'm not recognising anything else only the meaning. Okay? Because that's your true being, isn't it? Glorious truth, glorious truth. Your refusal to recognize anything else only dominion. No? <coughs> Hallelujah. Amen. Can I hear it, Lord? <laughs> <laughs> and you're hearing me. <laughs> okay. <coughs> all the walks, and, and what there is something that we know about those walks. All of those walks have been finished Amen. from the foundation of the world. That's the truth. Every work that ever needed to be done, God has finished it. And that itself tells you there's nothing left to be done. Amen. Only one thing. Believe. No. Lord God. <laughs> Just believe. That's what Peter said yeah, this morning. Just We're called to believe in what God has done. Okay? Yeah. Contrary to all the evidence <coughs> that appeals that it appears that it's not done, doesn't it? Yeah. But it's only the appearance of things. Glory to God. That's just an appearance, you know. So stop believing the appearance. Okay? The word of God is true, it's finished. And that's what we're doing. Dominion is over all the works that have been finished. Okay? So you believe it and you exercise it. Okay? That's the end of the study. So what are we here for? <laughs> what are we here for? Well, where are we going to go now? <clears throat> you have put all things under his feet. Glory to God. There you go. Don't, don't, be, looking for, don't, don't be looking to see where things are. <laughs> uh, don't be going around looking for. Where will you find healing? Where will you find it? <laughs> under your feet, yeah. <laughs> it's under your feet, yeah. I was looking at the wrong places. <laughs> Glory to God. Because God put it, He put all things under your feet. Mm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So where are we? Where were we looking for things? Ah. Mm. Ignorance. Glory <laughs> <laughs> yeah. to God. All sheep and oxen, even the beasts of the field, the birds of the air, and the fish of the sea, that pass through the paths of the seas. O oh Lord, our Lord, how excellent is Your name in all the earth. Glory to God. Mm -hmm. Isn't that wonderful? Yeah. Never again will I look for anything except where it is on my feet. <coughs> okay? <coughs> Thank you, Lord. That's to do with the, the glorious rest that God brought us into, okay? Again, it's in Psalm 115, verse 15 and 16. May you be blessed by the Lord, who made heaven and earth. The heaven and even the heavens are the Lord's, okay? So the heaven, even the heavens are the Lord's, but look, the earth he has given to the children of men, okay? So <clears throat> when God gives something to men, okay, it's in their stewardship, isn't it? Mm -hmm. He placed them in dominion over it. Now God, by the way, is not going to go by that. That's like you telling someone, I've given you complete control over my estate over here, okay? And then I go out tomorrow and start doing something and bypassing you, you know. I bypass what I'm after doing. I'm after giving you authority. And then I go by and I start doing a whole lot, making a whole lot of changes. And then you come to me then. So that, I thought you gave me the meaning of it. It's no right to go and do all of that. Because mm -hmm. I was in my charge. <coughs> do you understand? Mm -hmm. So when, it's like that when God gives over something to somebody. Says, you now have the meaning, you know. Mm -hmm. I can't go interfering with things. So how would a man have the meaning? 
I'm ignoring what I've done, do you know what I mean? Your God is not like that. I know people behave that way. You know? But God is not like that. When he gave dominion to man, <coughs> no man is responsible, isn't he? If something goes astray, oh, come here, you. <laughs> do you know what I mean? Like, man has, that's what dominion actually is. You're in, we're in charge, okay, of this planet. Man was given to man, okay. <clears throat> You're not going to call up the beast in the field and say, what did you do with this? You've got to. Man is, and one has to give an account, not right? Mm -hmm. The stewardship. Luke 16. <clears> that <throat> the earth he has given to the children of men. So everything that has happened and is happening, okay, upon the earth only happens with our <coughs> Isn't that right? Yeah. 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 What other way can it be? No, I, I know what we're saying man is the main and the natural man as well. So whatever way the planet is, <clears throat> God's not going to go to Mars and look for somebody who's responsible for it. <laughs> He's going to ask man, what did you do in my creation? You know? And it, you know, it's not doing so well at the moment, so it's not the whole creation, <clears throat> you know, because of... But now, <clears throat> but now God's waiting for his people, okay, the people to step up and take responsibility, okay? Taking that responsibility for sickness, disease, and that's what we're focusing upon. <clears throat> and I just want to say, and what we're doing is focusing upon it, okay, all the time. Because I know we've, we've looked at other things and we're looking at the Word of God, Word of God says about everything. And these particular messages, we're just looking at the whole aspect of healing and deliverance and all things spiritual, okay? Because it's only as we focus upon it and keep looking at it and looking at it, the Holy Spirit then will take those things and graft them. Okay. As we exercise them, it's only by exercising them as well, okay? Mm -hmm. You graft them in. And not only that, but we're all looking at the same thing. Because I know we can all go here and there, we can get bits and pieces of everything, you know. Mm -hmm. We can all end up doing different things. But at least in this way, you know, <clears throat> I do believe the law will have a conformity. I do believe he will have right. things that he shows us and we can all move in, in the, one, the one direction, so to speak, okay? Mm -hmm. <clears throat> <clears throat> so we see that, that everything has happened, has happened, and everything, and whatever's happened in your life, okay, has happened with your permission. Even if you go into slavery to sin or whatever, or whatever it is that happens to you, it happens with your permission. If the word of God is true, it happened with your permission, okay? Yeah? yeah? You gave it permission. You might have done it in ignorance. You might have done it in ignorance, and you might have done it knowingly. But whatever the case, it's still got your permission, okay? Now, you may have to think of it, that. <clears throat> Glory to God. Galatians chapter 6. Do not be deceived. And that's what's happened. We all get deceived. God is not mocked. For whatever a man sows, that he will also reap. Okay. Now, whether you've sown it in ignorance, again, or sowing it knowingly, you reap it in your life. And even the reaping of something, it's like, look what I reaped here. It makes you wonder then, what was I sowing, you know? Because you might be sowing something in ignorance, but when you see a harvest of something coming up, even suffering, you say, goodness me, what was I sowing there, you know? I'm reaping what I sowed. Because God said he's not going to be mocked. And he, as you know, he's no respect of persons, you know? Mm -hmm. Oh, I'll make it a bit different for you, I love you. You know? <laughs> it's, it's whatever any person sows, you know? So you see the harvest in your life. And, I, and, and I, it helps me to look back on my own life and things that happened, you know. Mm -hmm. I realise an awful lot of that was stuff I sold. An awful lot of it, you know. Mm -hmm. It's just a pure witness, you know. <clears throat> okay? Yeah, so the word of God, again, is true. That's what we're saying. The word was true. And it makes me out to be a liar, you know, if I was thinking anything else. He, he who sows to his flesh will of the flesh, okay? Of the flesh. Of your natural life. Your, the flesh is a natural life. And you're sowing to your natural life. You will, of the natural life, reap corruption. Okay? <clears throat> but he who sows to the Spirit will, of the Spirit, reap everlasting life. And that life, wood life, is Zoe. It's God's life. Okay? You reap the Zoe eternal life, which includes everything of God. Okay? <clears throat> includes all of the, the benefits of that life, as we know. And we're talking about healing in particular. Okay, <clears throat> and let us, he says, let us not grow weary. Okay, that's very important too, isn't it? Very, let us not grow weary. Because you know the way you try a few things. <laughs> and uh, one or two weeks later you forget all about it. 
you, you kind of get out of bar. I wasn't seeing any fruit out of that anyway, you know. Yeah. <laughs> so you get a bit of shot. No, well, in, in the word of God, you don't give things a shot. Mm. You're in them, you say, okay, <clears throat> let's not grow weary while doing good, for in due season we shall reap if we do not lose. And it's always to lose heart, isn't it? Because mm -hmm. you know the way we've grown up to expect things pretty quickly, haven't we? Mm -hmm. I want to see this really quick, you know. Yeah, and you can be disappointed, you know. And you can stop. You can stop at a time, which is a wrong time, you know. Actual time when you're supposed to push through, you mm -hmm. can stop at it, you know. Well, it's, it's like a little child. <clears throat> you know, growing up in the, when the children were small in my house, you know, uh, they were given something to plant out in the garden, you know. I'm glad to see that in the car. And the go out the next morning to see them. <laughs> <laughs> and probably, probably then I forget all about them. A few more, for a few months I forget all about them. <laughs> but anyway, you know what I mean? Like, what are children in that sense, you know? There's a, there's a lack of maturity in that, isn't it? You know? Mm -hmm. Kind of a lack of maturity of perseverance, of, of, you know, not, of growing weary and stuff like that, mm -hmm. you know? <clears throat> in due season we shall reap if we do not lose heart. Therefore, as we have opportunity, let us do good to all, especially to those who are the household. <coughs> Isn't that lovely? Mm -hmm. yeah. It's a lovely verse that, glory to God. It covers all aspects of our life, you know. Mm -hmm. Glory to God. <coughs> so that's really what we're doing. And this whole thing of, uh, when I woke up three weeks, three weeks ago, and I just woke up in the morning, and I was like, God woke me up to something, just woke up. You know, healing, come on, and I had a sore foot at the time, and immediately I prayed about it, you know, <clears throat> and glory to God, I did, I got results, I know I got results, glory to God, it was a blessing, <clears throat> but I know, I know that there's so much more for us to get results with, I just know it, and I believe you know it as well, I know we're just touching upon something, you know, mm -hmm. and that reminds me of something, because when I read John Wimber's uh, autobiography, you know, he's talked about his life, he's, he's telling all about that yeah, over the weekend, there. Uh, he was, <clears throat> he began to, to speak and preach about healing. Mm -hmm. And none of them had experienced healing, you know, mm -hmm. in the church. In California, he started to, he started to sow the seed of healing, you know, mm -hmm. and, and health and wholeness and all of that. And he started then every Sunday morning, and then went down, and then went down, <laughs> and then went down, <laughs> and then went down, <laughs> and then went down. <laughs> and then went down. <laughs> and we guess how long he had to keep doing it. Years. Yeah. He went up for two years every Sunday morning, mm -hmm. preaching about healing, and they saw nothing. They saw nothing. And the people who were, who were also in leadership with him, you know, started getting on to him. You know, they really got up because they thought he was, he was going wrong, you know. Mm -hmm. Seriously started challenging him and, you know, finally giving us him, you know. Mm -hmm. But he kept doing it. And then there was a breakthrough. And then they started healing, see healings all over the place. You know? <coughs> After two years of breaking everybody's heart in the room, when they, when they, when they all started to try and stop him. Yeah. After two years, then he started a healing revival in California. And then they, they realized then that it was, it was a lot not to do with what they were sowing, you know. Mm -hmm. Then they began to reap what he had been sowing, you know. Mm -hmm. Because the heart is like that, isn't it? The heart has to be seed to seed. Okay, and it has to make room for it, and it has to believe in it, it has to conceive, you know. Mm -hmm. Glory to God. And then you have to get results immediately. <laughs> but I know, I'm not saying it's going to take you. I don't, I don't, all I'm saying is that we've already seen healings in the church. Mm -hmm. And healings come because of the grace of God, and we're tasting the grace of God. And that's the only ground upon healings take place, okay? Mm -hmm. The law brings, of course, but grace brings healing and deliverance, okay, and the goodness of God. And that's the only ground healing takes place. And we're moving in the right way so we can expect them. Amen. And expect them. Amen. Without being disappointed. Amen. Without being disappointed, you know. Mm -hmm. Okay? Mm -hmm. We expect them. Glory to God. And that's what we're just looking into the world together. So that we say, oh yeah, yeah, oh yeah, oh, yeah. <laughs> as we go along. Okay? Yep. Mm -hmm. Okay, glory to God. <laughs> <coughs> Okay, especially to those who are the household of faith. Okay. Hebrews chapter 10. Now, these are a couple of verses that just go along with that. But do not cast away your confidence, okay, which the temptation is. And John, went, went by, he could have just cast that away after a while, you know, when the people started getting on to him. Do not cast away your confidence, which has great reward, okay, great reward. 
Now, the word of God that says something like that, you can expect something great, can't you? Mm-hmm. But you have need of endurance, there it is there. So that after you have done the will of God, after you have done what you were told, you know, mm-hmm. you did the sowing, okay? You may receive the promise. But your promise is the manifestation of it. The promise is always the manifestation, you know, the appearance of the thing, you know. <clears throat> mm-hmm. But solid fear, here we go, solid fear belongs to those who are full age, that those who by reason of use, okay, reason of use, have their senses exercised, okay? Mm-hmm. Same again, even praying for, the, praying for the sake and believing in God. And, and as you do it, it's only as you do it, God can, can correct all the little errors, can you know? Mm-hmm. But if you never, ever did it, you know, you don't, nothing gets corrected, you know. Mm-hmm. You keep in the same place. Mm-hmm. You never grow in it. You never grow in what you're doing, you know. That way. Mm-hmm. It's only as you do it and you listen to it. Mm-hmm. And that happened to so many ministers. I'm sure you've been listening to messages yourself. Yeah. Happened to so many ministers. They, what happened? Why did that not happen? And they asked questions, you know. Mm-hmm. And, they, they, you know, they study the Word of God and they realize, ah, oh, I can't do that, you know. You know. You know. Mm-hmm. <coughs> Reason or use have their senses exercised to the same, both good and evil, okay? The good and evil, whatever it is you're doing, <coughs> you might be missing the mark in some way of doing mm-hmm. Yeah? Mm-hmm. And then you have to learn that. That has to be learned. So let us continue to sow the word of faith by healing and miracles. More and more Amen. and more. Okay. Okay. That's all we're doing. Yeah? Oh yeah. God. yeah? Mm-hmm. So we do a way we're going to hospital. <coughs> and doctors. Just keep the title. This is by the users. By the users. You've been going up for a job, would you? There we go. Do not be deceived. Oh, actually, I don't know why that can go up there again. Oh, well. There we go. Okay, yes, we're looking at authority now, okay? <coughs> There's one thing about dominion. It always requires authority. And authority has to be given. <coughs> but I'm just touching upon it here. But there is no authority except from God. <coughs> okay, Romans 13, 1, Luke 4, 5, and 7. And the authorities that exist are appointed by God. Okay? Mm-hmm. Every authority. And here we have <coughs> Luke 4. And then the devil. Remember, okay, when Jesus had been tempted in the wilderness, mm-hmm. just to fill in the background, he went into the, he was baptized and anointed by the Holy Spirit, baptized by John in the river Jordan. And the Bible says that <coughs> the Spirit drove him into the wilderness to be tempted of the devil. Okay? And here's one of them. The devil taking him up on a high mountain showed him all the kingdoms of the world in a moment. Of time and the devil said to him all this authority okay all the kings all this authority I will give you and their glory but this has been delivered to me so you see the devil ended up with all of the authority okay it was given to the min the min was given to Adam <coughs> and of course it was passed on to the devil through the fault mm-hmm. through sin be given to me delivered to me and I give it to whomever I wish I wish, <coughs> therefore, if you will worship before me, all will be yours, okay? So you can see straight away where all of that dominion went, went to the devil. <coughs> but it's the devil, again, it's not just the devil by himself, it's the devil through men. Because men are still in dominion, but they were deceived by the devil, okay? So the devil is exercising all the authority through man. Because it's only when man says something or does something, Gets done, okay? Mm-hmm. To understand, so it's actually true man that he exercises. But likewise, when God <coughs> is authority, again, it's true man. Mm-hmm. It's always true man. Because God always looks for a man if he's going to do something. Mm-hmm. He looks for a man. Because it has to come through man. Because he recognizes that man, the earth, was given to man. Okay? And that's where the Bible talks continuously about God doing, about being Christ being in us, the hope of glory. And the power of God in us, okay? It's always to do with the earthen vessel, always, mm-hmm. glory to God. If the earthen vessel doesn't permit it, it doesn't get happen. So the devil <coughs> gets men deceived and he gets them to permit all kinds of stuff, okay? Mm-hmm. It's coming from Satan, glory to God. It's so important, so men have been restored now through Christ. 
Okay? And we're standing in the will of God to see <coughs> the will of God. The will of God in every situation. Mm -hmm. <coughs> okay, you can see that there, okay? All will be yours. Okay? Mm -hmm. yeah. that, that's the that's the when I looked at that again. You know, I hadn't read that in a while. I looked at her again and I saw the power of it and I said, Whoa, all this authority I will give you. And they go, and this has been delivered to me. And the Bible's, you know, the Bible does say that, <coughs> that you know, the, that Satan is the god of this world, <coughs> as we know. And <coughs> the whole world lies in the grip, John says, of the evil one. So you see the whole, the whole, it's true, you know. The whole, the whole natural realm. Okay. Mm. Does that surprise you? You see the, the, the depth of it, yeah? A little bit, yeah? Yeah. 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 <laughs> <laughs> Luke 10 22 <coughs> and here's Jesus saying this okay because all authority is of God okay all things have been delivered to me by my father and no one knows the son except the father who the son is and who the father is except the son and the one to whom the son wills to reveal him glory to God thank God we're in that position okay where the son has shown us the father Okay? And the true source of all things. So Satan tempted Jesus and sought to bargain with him, okay? Offering him dominion over all earthly kingdoms. But Jesus, though conscious of his right to them, he knew he had the right to them because he became a man. And he knew then that all of this belongs to me rightfully. Okay? Yeah? Mm -hmm. Because he would because we know he came in flesh and blood. He partook of flesh and blood. And Jesus became a man because all dominion was given to man. That's so important. So Jesus became a man. Glory to God. So he knew he was conscious of his right to him just by being a man. Okay? He refused the devil's way, deciding instead to await the Father's means and time. He wanted to do his Father's way. Okay? Likewise, dominion has already been given to us. I've got this flesh and blood body that tells me. I'm on the earth and the earth has been given to me and it's been given to you. So the mean has been given to me. But in God's means, God's way, the means is the way. And God's time, okay? So important. He had to go the Father's way. And we know now he has been raised up and exalted to the right hand of the Father, okay? Yep. And he's been made Lord of all. Mm -hmm. The team that Satan offered to him, you know? He got it the right way, it's true. In the truth and life, okay? Mm -hmm. So it's so important <coughs> that we know by just having a natural body, flesh and blood body, dominion has been given to you in the Father's way and time, okay? And that time is now, by the way. The time is now. Glory to God. So <coughs> we're expecting and have been for a long time now, glory to God, more and more. And it comes by recognition and awakening to it. And awaken to what God is doing in your life, you know? Mm -hmm. And the way he's doing things, okay? Yeah. The way is always the trouble, isn't it? Mm -hmm. <laughs> I want to go with a different way. Yeah, of course. <clears throat> it has to be done, because Jesus is the way. We know he's the way for every single person. The door, okay? Mm -hmm. Through him. All right? Yeah. <clears throat> Don't forget, if you want to ask a quick, a quick question on the way, it's no problem, okay? You won't, you won't get an answer, of course, but <coughs> we'll have an answer. <coughs> <laughs> <coughs> Ephesians 1, 20, 20, you know, these are familiar again, but I want us to look at them, okay? To keep looking at the Word of God, we're focusing upon the Word of God. This is when, <coughs> okay, Matthew 28, 18, okay, this particular verse, and Jesus came and spoke to them, do you remember? Mm -hmm. And then he says, all authority has been given to me in heaven and on earth. Okay, before he ascended, remember? Yeah. Mm -hmm. You let them know all authority is now mine. Okay? You get it to Father's way, and so all authority, you know, he's the head of all things, he's the made head of all things, and all authority is his, glory to God. That's good news, isn't it? Mm -hmm. <laughs> so whatever it is, <laughs> Jesus has it. <laughs> and in case you didn't know, <coughs> we're his feet. And he's going nowhere but empty his feet. <laughs> we carry him, we bear him, he's living in us all of the time. And he the one who's in us has all oh, the Glory to God. Mm. So we, we can limit him, of course, we could limit him in this particular body. 
Glory to God. Mm. Well, we won. <clears throat> he raised him from the dead and he seated him, okay? This whole disability thing of being seated. And, you know, it's very important to remember that, the whole idea of being seated. Because we don't do anything in, except we're seated, okay? We do everything from the seated position. So that's where the authority, if you know of anybody, any king or queen or whatever, they have it in the throne. The authority is in the throne. He's in the throne of heaven. And the throne is something you sit on, isn't it? Glory to God. You're seated. And that seating also tells us all of God's works are finished because we're sitting. Okay? <clears throat> and the, in other words, and it's very same as anything else. The whole of creation is waiting for your word. Put your word upon this, you know? Mm. Do you know what I mean? It's always to do with your word. And when Jesus came along, if you look at his miracles, he was, it was always to do with his word. It was always to do with his word. They're waiting for my word here. Let it be, you know. Mm -hmm. The word was always to do with the word, isn't it? Mm -hmm. And that is something really and truly we have to lock onto. Mm -hmm. You know, what we say, what we permit, what we, you know, <clears throat> mm -hmm. all of that. Mm -hmm. And that illustrates that you're in authority because you're seated and you're just giving commands, you know. It's not something, oh, I have to go and do this you know? <laughs> to make this happen. No, you don't. <laughs> the whole of creation is waiting for your word on this particular case, you know. Your testimony. That's what it all is, you know. Mm -hmm. Witness. What you're going to witness to, you know. Mm -hmm. Okay. <coughs> At his right hand, <coughs> where all authority is, okay. At his right hand. Mm -hmm. In the heavenly places. Far above all principality. Far above and power, okay. No question whatsoever. And might and dominion. And the whole power of God is behind him, okay. Mm -hmm. And every name that is named, everything, that whatever it is that has a name, the name of Jesus above it, okay? Yes. Glory to God. Yes. It's absolutely incredible. Yes. Yes. I wouldn't get that power to anybody. <laughs> I keep it all. <laughs> but Jesus is giving it to his saints, okay? He has given it to his saints. But it's his time, his way, okay? Glory to God. Mm -hmm. So important. It's, it's in submission to those who will commit to submission to the head. Okay. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Not only in this age. That's the age we're living in. Okay. So you can see it's in this age. Okay. Very important to see that. Mm -hmm. It is in this age, but it's not only in this age, but also in that which is to come as well. Oh, yeah. And he put all things and he put them again under his feet. So now we know where everything is. Glory to God. Mm -hmm. <laughs> It's under his feet. And gave him to be head over all things to the church, which is his body, the fullness of him, because everything in any way. So God made Christ head, okay? He made Jesus the head of all things. But now he has the head, okay? And look what he said. He, he has put Jesus as head over all things and he's given him to the church. He just didn't give Jesus to the church. He gave Jesus as head over all things to the church, which is totally different, you know? Okay? Glory to God. So we don't just have Jesus, you have Jesus as head over all things. Okay? Mm. All of that, I have to let it sink in, absorb it, glory to God. And it changes everything on the inside, okay? Everything on the inside is changed. Mm. Oh. <laughs> mm. yeah. It gets grafted in. <laughs> yeah? <coughs> yeah. Mm. Mm. Whatever you do, do not get excited, okay? <laughs> and he, the fullness, we're the fullness of him, okay? We're the fullness of, of Christ now. Mm -hmm. It's great, isn't it? Mm -hmm. We're his fullness, you know? He's like, what did I show you my fullness? Come up here, folks. <laughs> I'd leave you over there. She's my fullness. <laughs> yeah? <coughs> And here we're looking at it again, okay? This is why Paul prayed. Forgive me for going over these verses. Because we're looking at it from a different perspective now about healing and deliverance. But again, it covers all things, okay? Now, the God of our Lord Jesus Christ, Paul prayed, <coughs> Ephesians 1 17, The Father of glory may give you the spirit of wisdom and revelation in the knowledge of Him. So it's the recognition, okay? 
It's the spiritual recognition of who this person is, okay? Mm -hmm. And walking in it, receiving it and walking in it. <coughs> Knowledge of him, the eyes of your understanding, okay? Mm -hmm. Your spiritual eyes. Mm -hmm. The spiritual eyes be open to see him, okay? Yeah. Enlightened, that you may know, okay? In other way, so that you may not be just thinking that you know. No, there's a difference between I think I know this you know, and actually knowing something. Mm -hmm. Because when you know something, you know when the Bible talks about faith is the assurance of things. Mm -hmm. You know it. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And then there's a time when you have faith but you think you know it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and you I didn't know that. <laughs> there's a big difference, isn't it? Because they're both spiritual. It's the knowing in the spirit. Mm -hmm. Intimacy. You have intimacy with the thing. Intimacy of knowing. Okay? Mm -hmm. And that can only come from the spirit. <clears throat> What is the hope of his calling? The riches of the glory. Glory to God. It has to be all opened up and, and discovered, isn't it? Opened up. <clears throat> of his inheritance in the saints, because it's through the saints that he's walk, walking. And what is the exceeding, this is the great inheritance, the exceeding greatness of his power. Now that word power is dynamis. Okay, dynamis in the Greek. Mm. <clears throat> Told us who believe, according to the working of his mighty power, dynamis. But you walked in Christ and you raised him from the dead. Now we get the word dynamite from that word, dynamis. It's a Greek word, okay? We talk about strength, power, you know, might. Do you know what I mean? Like, <clears throat> I'm not talking about actually not might as right, but might as power. <laughs> and that's something that you might do. <laughs> that kind of might. We've enough of those mites. <laughs> we don't have any more might. It's all to do with will now, okay? That's true, We will, we shall do, we will. You will be healed. You know what I mean? Now? You might be healed. Yeah. <laughs> right. yeah. 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 Can we get the difference in that one? The end of the <laughs> <laughs> That's the kind of might that we're talking about. <laughs> it's you shall be healed. Yeah. 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 God doesn't have any of these things about him, you know. Yeah. I don't know about that. <laughs> <Yeah>. Okay. <clears throat> But he walked in Christ when he raised him from the dead. Okay, glory to God. Now Jesus had to have full assurance. Before he gave up his last breath on the cross, he gave his life knowing he would be raised on the third day from the dead. If he didn't know that, he could be absolutely sure it would have been exposed. In the Garden of Gethsemane, it would have been exposed and he would have ran for his life. <coughs> Do you understand me? Because that means the full assurance was there. Okay, full assurance. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> and I, I, I have it in tradition that when Jesus went from the garden of Gethsemane to go, okay, they came, to, remember they, they came into the garden, they took him away, but he went singing, apparently they went singing and said they all went singing, you know, glory to God, went to his death singing. <clears throat> okay, I love that, the exceeding greatness <clears throat> of, his, of his power, his dynamite power, mm -hmm. explosive power, okay. Mm -hmm. Well, there's one thing we won't do, we won't get excited about it. <coughs> <laughs> okay, authority and power. I just, again, I'm going to have the basic understanding of this, that we're not leaving any stone unturned, okay? Mm -hmm. Authority is exousia, I think that's pronounced exousia or exousia, okay? <coughs> it's the right and the liberty. There are two kinds of <coughs> authority and power can sometimes be mixed up. <coughs> and sometimes they go together as well, okay? <coughs> It's the right and the liberty to exercise power, dynamis. So the authority is the right to <coughs> exercise. Dunamis. Dunamis. Well, okay. I, I like the word dynamis. <laughs> 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 All right, it's dunamis. Okay, there we go. Okay, I, I surrender. It's confirmation from Brother Bell. It's not just me. <laughs> <laughs> <Dunamis. laughs> scholars have an over on this one. Okay, this <clears throat> is the right, okay, and the exercise of power, dunamis here, okay. So you can see that one here is dynamic, you might say. Yeah. Dynamic power or strength. Mm -hmm. Glory to God. Mm -hmm. And this is the right to exercise it. Because you may or may not have the right to exercise things. Okay. So power, dunamis, is the might or ability inherent in the word of God. It's inherent in the word of God. Mm -hmm. okay? And it's in, in, in God speaks it. It's in the word. Okay. Mm -hmm. Often used to describe a miracle Okay, and the word dynamite is taken from it. It's in the Bible, it's just, when the miracle happens, it's described as God's power. Doing this, okay? Mm -hmm. 
So when you think about a policeman or a prison officer, we, we know the way you talk about a policeman, when he puts on a, it's only a fellow on the street, but when he puts on that uniform, <laughs> you have to do what he tells you, you know? Because yes. he, he has authority. Mm. Okay, and he's backed up by the police force, you know what I mean? The, the dunamis behind him, it was, he has the right to exercise that, okay? It's given to him by the government, mm -hmm. okay? So a policeman has the authority to do it, and he also has the power behind him, okay? For it to be made, you to be made to do it. Mm -hmm. Or a prison officer can have the keys, he can have locking somebody up, he has the keys, okay? The keys are the power. He has the power to open and lock that door, that's the power, okay? Mm -hmm. A prison officer, but he may not actually have the right to do it. The right given to him, but as it happens, they do have the right. So I'm just illustrating those two things, okay? Mm. Authority and power, okay? Glory to God. Mm -hmm. Now Jesus had was given the authority, we know that. And he was given the authority because of his submission. We'll see that in the next one, I think. I think it's the next one. Jesus in his ministry had the authority, exousia, and the power, dynamis, over the forces of nature. That's incredible. The forces of nature, glory to God. Mm. Sin, sickness, disease, and death, all of these obeyed his orders, glory mm. to God. Because he obviously believed that dominion was given to him, you know. Mm. And he demonstrated it, okay. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> and they were all done with a word. It was with a word, you know. He didn't break it, but take it into action, you know. <laughs> <laughs> he did it with a word. It's so important, yeah. okay. <clears throat> Now is the judgment of this world. Now is the ruler of this world will be cast out. The one who had the authority, okay, is now cast out. Out of here, out of there, cast out of the world. He's gone, okay. That's the word of God on it. He's gone, okay. Glory to God. Having the sound principalities and powers, he made a public spectacle of them, triumphing over them in it. Okay, glory to God. So Jesus demonstrated all of that. And he did it, again, he, made it, he did it publicly, which is absolutely glorious, you know. He wasn't going in behind closed doors and ministering in secret, you know. Mm -hmm. Was that a wonderful thing about his ministry? It was right out in the public, you know, mm -hmm. in front of everybody. You know, and he drew wrath from everybody, you know. So he did it in the public. But, he, you know, to do that, you had to have wonderful, wonderful assurance, you know, wonderful assurance, you know. Mm -hmm. And be able to see things exactly the way they were, you know. Because you don't see, really, you know. Mm -hmm. yeah. <coughs> now, because one of the things I touched upon here was, <coughs> Jesus was, it was by faith, through the spirit of his Father, and the authority of the exousia, he exercised was through his submission to his Father. So the right to do something it comes from submission, okay? If you're not submitted, you may not be given the right to do something, okay? Mm -hmm. Glory to God. <coughs> so we see this here, okay? In Acts chapter uh, John 5, 19, Most assuredly, I say to you, the Son can do nothing, okay, which is submission. He submit himself to his Father, because he himself could do nothing. But what he sees, exousia, the Father do, he can only do he has what he sees the Father do. The Father has given him the right to do it, okay? The liberty to go ahead and do it, do certain things, okay? Mm. So it was all based upon submission. I've been, first of all, I'm doing nothing of myself, only what I see the Father doing. Okay. So God has to have your submission, mm. okay? He has to have your submission, glory to God. If not, you have people running around all over the place, <laughs> trying chaos again, mm -hmm. only in a different kind of way, because <clears throat> he's the head. Glory to God. And then we see a God anointed Jesus of Nazareth with the Holy Spirit and with power. Dynamis, okay? So in this case, we see that the anointed him with the Holy Spirit was the, not just the authority of the right to do it, but the actual power for it to happen, okay? Dynamis. He went about doing God and healing all who were oppressed with the devil. So you see the two of them there together. One was the Dynamis, you know, the power to back it up and the right to do it in his ministry, okay? Glory to God. Mm -hmm. The two of them, obviously, very, very important. Mm -hmm. Yeah? Mm -hmm. Very important, yeah. Mm -hmm. <coughs> 15. 1 John 3, 8, Romans 6, 6, and Hebrews 2, 14. <coughs> Glory to God. Whoever makes a practice of sinning is of the devil, for the devil has been sinning from the beginning. The reason the Son of God appeared was to destroy 
And the word destroy means to dissolve. <coughs> to dissolve the works of the devil. <coughs> so now we can say that all of God's, all the devil's works have dissolved. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. When you're standing in the word of God, mm -hmm. you have no other option but to believe that the, the works of the devil are dissolved. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Now they have the appearance of, of our operating, okay? Because mm -hmm. in the natural realm it's through appearance. They have the appearance as if they're fine, they're doing great, the works are still operating. But the word of God says different, the word of God says that they're resolved to them. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Are you going to believe it? Yeah. <coughs> it's so important. Mm -hmm. Because when the word of God, they have been dissolved, his works, and his works were all over the earth, all manner of works, okay? Every mm -hmm. every single evil thing. And that's it. That, that covers heaven, isn't it? All the works of heaven covers yeah. heaven. No matter what you mention, yeah. in the natural realm, it's covered. They have all been dissolved. And you know when something dissolves, you ever, ever have an ice cream? <laughs> on a hot day, and they're trying to lick the things before it goes on the ground. <laughs> I'm sorry, but <laughs> I can't explain. Or <laughs> oh, something better just dissolved overnight, and whatever it was. Like, <gasps> what did you do? You had to throw it away, haven't you? <laughs> In other words, the reason it dissolved, think about it for a moment, there was no substance. Did you hear that part? Yeah. There was no sub had the appearance of substance, yes. but the substance wasn't there. Okay, it wasn't there, and that substance can make you back up. Can make you back up. Oh, it's definitely there's something in there's not. It's the dog. <laughs> That's what we're talking about. That's what the word of God tells us these things. You know. That's what we need to continue with. Okay. <clears throat> Glory to God. And that's just one. Romans 6 says, we know that we know. <laughs> I should have underlined that they know that. We know that our old self was crucified in with him in order that the body of sin might be brought to nothing. Okay. Again, the nothing is rendered useless. Okay. Mm -hmm. It's useless. It's gone. That Jesus rendered it useless. Okay. So you don't think about it in terms of it at all. It's passed away. It's gone. Amen. Glory to God. Amen. It's gone. Amen. And even that song we sing, I'm not really happy with some of the songs. I know we said this before. <laughs> even this morning, I need you more, you know. <clears throat> yeah. And I'm never going to go back to my old life. <laughs> There's nothing to go back to, folks. <laughs> it's like, it's like we're giving ourselves the option that we could go back to it if we wanted, but you can't. There's nothing to go back to. Mm -hmm. It's rendered useless. Do you understand? Like, the songs that we sing sometimes are kind of like, yeah. there's a tread of unbelief behind it there, you know. Because mm -hmm. when you're in faith, and which is where we are, we're in faith with Christ, you know. I have nothing to go back to. Yeah. And you have nothing to go back to, you know. It's all dissolved. Yeah. It's all dissolved. So you don't give yourself the option, oh, I, I, I. Yeah, yeah. yeah, that's the only ground, that, again, that's not the only ground that we have. That's the only ground Jesus had. He didn't give himself little options, you know. Amen. Yeah? Amen. Yeah? Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Glory to God. Which verse is that now that we know that our old self? Which one of those is it? Oh yeah, well you know the Romans chapter six, six, just in here in the middle, okay? In the middle, isn't it? Right? One John three eight is the fourth one. Whoever makes a practice of sinning, okay? Okay, okay. <clears throat> well, the devil has been sinning from the beginning. Mm. Okay, think about that. Just a different subject, but a lot, an awful lot of stuff in the world today tells us that the devil was an arch angel before he fell. Mm -hmm. but the word of God says completely different. Even Jesus said it. The devil was sinned from the beginning. Okay? So that's not true to begin with. He was never an archangel, okay? <coughs> right. <coughs> and all that the body of sin might destroy nothing rendered you so that we would no longer be enslaved to sin, okay? So no longer enslaved to the soul. It's gone. Since therefore the children share in the flesh and blood, he himself likewise partook the same things that through death he might destroy, render useless, okay? <clears throat> the one who has the power, that is the devil. His works are destroyed, and now we see the devil himself has been rendered useless, okay? So why would you go and fight somebody? <laughs> why would you take up a war against them, you know? Amen. You don't. As we said before, our warfare is just believing the word of God. Oh, it's standing in the word of one God is true. The devil has no power. He himself... Have been rendered useless. No, he's rendered useless. He 
have to hold it. You have to hold it, hold it, hold it, and recognize nothing else. Mm -hmm. Nothing else. You can't recognize, you know, against the whole idea of what you recognize. <coughs> you know, okay, all the time. Mm -hmm. And the most important thing is when the temptation comes, that that's when you have to recognize it, okay? Yeah. And there's all manner of temptations, okay? Mm -hmm. All manner. <coughs> you might destroy remember, the one, and he has accomplished that. It's done, okay? Glory to God. <coughs> so we have it there, I wrote down 2 Corinthians chapter 3, verse 5 and 6. That's to do with our ministry, by the way. So I wrote down, so the devil is rendered useless. <coughs> His works are destroyed, dissolved, okay? Mm -hmm. The old self identity, former identity, and the body of sin is rendered useless. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, what are we doing here, about? <laughs> all this is already accomplished in the spirit, mind you, okay? Mm has -hmm. all been accomplished in the spirit. Where we live as spiritual beings, because that's, that's where we live. Mm -hmm. we, he went to prepare a place for us. And that's where we live. We live in Christ Jesus, in the Spirit, as new creations. And in that place where we live, the devil, useless, dissolved, gently gone. Okay. Yeah. That's what we recognize. Mm -hmm. And when temptation comes, he's going to ask you to recognize his existence, okay? Mm -hmm. And the minute you succumb like something, you're recognizing his existence, okay? That's what you're doing. In other words, you had to commit to the flesh. You have to draw you, first of all, into the flesh. <coughs> That's the only place you could ever have existence. That's not where we live. <coughs> okay? And then I wrote this down here. <coughs> all this is already accomplished in the spirit where we live as spiritual beings. And uh, 2 Corinthians chapter 3, 5 and 6. Not that we are sufficient in ourselves to claim anything that's coming from us. Our sufficiency is from God, who has made us sufficient to be ministers of a new covenant. And that's in the spirit, not in the letter, but of the spirit. Mm. So you're not, a, you're not a minister at all. <coughs> you're not even a minister before God, of the word of God, if you're thinking of fighting, you know, if you're fighting the devil and stuff like that. Do you understand what I mean? The mm. minister of God, the new covenant, stands in the truth, mm. in the spirit. That's the only ministry you have. Other than that, you haven't got a ministry at all. Do you understand that, yeah? yeah. Mm. The ministry is only in the spirit. The Spirit gives life. That's the only place you're anywhere, anywhere near doing nothing to do with God, in connection with God at all, okay? Mm -hmm. So you only, you're, and he's made us able ministers, not, not in the flesh. Oh, no, no, no. Only in the Spirit, okay? And in the Spirit, everything is finished. So you can't be disagreeing with the Word of God and then trying to minister. Do you know what I mean? How can you minister something you disagree with, you know? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You're only a minister of the devil in, in the flesh. You're just yes. carrying on his works and establishing his authority, you know? So you see clearly, <coughs> okay, yeah. God has nothing to do with you if you're off doing all that kind of stuff. Mm -hmm. Yeah? Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm going to just put this through the word of God so you can see it for yourself, okay? <coughs> 1 Corinthians 15, 56, Romans chapter 7, and Colossians 2, 14. Now the sting of death is sin, and the power of sin is the law. For apart from the law, sin lies dead. And that tells you something straight away about sin, okay? It tells you that sin has no power of itself. Okay? There really is no such thing as sin in the sense that it has no power at all itself. Sin is dead. Okay? Sin is dead, so I say, how do I get me so much trouble, Ruth? <laughs> How did this day thing give me so much trouble, you know? <laughs> Glory to God. <clears throat> but it's in those days. And it's illustrated again in the spirit. Having wiped out the handwriting of requirements that was against us, which was contrary to us, and was taken out of the way, you nailed it to the cross. That was the law, okay? <clears throat> because sin has to get power from the law. Mm. It has no power itself, so it has to get it has to get the law operational to have power. Mm. Only through, only through God's law does sin have power. Okay. Mm -hmm. You take away the law, and he has done, he wiped it out, handwriting required, wiped out God's law. So we're not under law, as we said before, so there's no more law to be under. God requires nothing of us at all, okay, mm -hmm. of our flesh, nothing at all whatsoever, okay. Requires nothing. 
He took it out of the way, nailing it to the cross, left, but sin has no power. Do you understand that? Yeah. It only has power if you give it. Well, you know. mm-hmm. That tells you straight away you're in dominion, you know. And yet with your permission, sin can only operate with your permission. Mm-hmm. You have to give it your permission. You have mm-hmm. to. And if, if it's if it's bugging you in your life, it's no good blaming the devil. <laughs> It's no good blaming the devil. It's no good even blaming sin. Mm-hmm. You did it. Mm-hmm. You're doing it. Mm-hmm. You, know, you gave it permission. Yes, the way it's done it through ignorance or knowing what you gave it permission. So important. So important. You mean giving it permission now by, by, by coming under the law again? Yeah. Yeah. Right. yeah. I'll just look at that in a minute. Yeah. But it's still your permission. Mm-hmm. Okay. We see that sin has no power of itself. Okay. It's dead. It can only have power through God's law. And the law has been cancelled. Okay? Through Christ's law has been cancelled. So sin is dead. Condemnation and guilt have nothing to lay hold of. Because <laughs> condemnation and guilt had to have sin <laughs> to get at you. That's right. <coughs> Isn't that right? <laughs> so now it's dead. So condemnation and guilt passed away. Amen. <laughs> Glory to God. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Is the truth? <laughs> so this is where we live. We're, we're ministers in the spirit. Okay, this is where we live. Amen. <laughs> it's passed away and you have nothing to lay hold of. The accuser is rendered useless. The devil, the accuser, he's rendered useless. The word of God says, okay. Mm-hmm. So there's no more accusations. That's right. There's no more accusations. You're only accusing yourself, okay? That's, right. mm-hmm. That's all you're doing. Mm-hmm. You're accusing yourself. Or someone else is accusing you and he's doing the devil's work. Exactly. So there's no more accusations. <laughs> okay. Glory to God. That's, that's the truth. The word. <laughs> Knowing the truth will make us free. <clears throat> no more accusations. Sickness and disease is dissolved. Amen. They have been dissolved. The devil's walks, remember? Whoa. <laughs> they have been dissolved. No more I. There's no more I. I, I, I was crucified. With Christ, I no longer live. <laughs> I is gone. Okay. Old self, which is I, <coughs> or me is I, or personal sense again. You're not even a person. You used to be a person. You're not a person anymore. Okay. Don't look at me like that. <laughs> Get up there. <laughs> Every time. <laughs> You're not a person because when you I passed away, you as a person died. Yeah. You did. You had no nature, you're a person, you're gone. Okay? The only nature you have now is God's nature, the divine nature. Do you understand? Yeah. That's why we're partakers of the divine nature. Yeah. You could not, God's not gonna give you gonna give you two natures. Well you can hang on to nature, I've heard the wrong. He doesn't he gives you thing on the base that the other one has passed away. Mm-hmm. Remember? Mm-hmm. So you've only got one nature, the divine nature. Amen. This is what we're talking about. Of where are we going to stand, folks? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You've only got a different nature. Mm-hmm. You can pretend to have the other one if you want, but you have to pretend. <coughs> okay? Mm-hmm. <coughs> These are all saying the same. There's no. Because every time, every, time be, every time you live again as a, in the flesh, you become a person and then it, your, your feelings get hurt. <laughs> all kinds of things because why get on a person stop holding me <laughs> you know what I mean like, so you know, the person has died yes. so the whole idea of personal sense of your ambition your desires all of that that's all gone with it okay? mm-hmm. you're now invested for, for another person the only person who's actually living today is Christ the, he is the only person Christ in you that person is the only person it's his nature that's in you his divine nature so therefore, we're alive unto him, that's all. <coughs> yeah, okay. faith in the spirit means you're a divine being, spiritual being, and we recognize <coughs> nothing else. Because that's our foundation. That's our foundation. Healing and miracles are a part of all of that. Mm-hmm. They're not a part of everything, you know. Mm-hmm. So they're a part of, part of that, yeah. Yeah. yeah amen. <coughs> in the spirit. Mm-hmm. So we'll go through that again. So... <coughs> There's no independent self, as if there's a self independent from God that God was using. You know? mm-hmm. There's no independent self. All human nature, human nature is dead, it's gone. 
time has already been fulfilled. All of God's works are finished. I'm talking about in the spirit. Because that's where we live. Mm-hmm. Time has been fulfilled. <coughs> okay, all your birthdays are gone. Indeed. <coughs> oh, my <dad>. <laughs> <laughs> It's about time. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> no more birthdays. Mm. <laughs> Glory to God. That's good news for this person. <laughs> <laughs> you have no more better. I know this is real. I know. I know we can have a funny thing, but it's real. Oh, it because if you're yeah. going to be, if you, if you're called, you're responding to your calling to be a follower of Christ. Yeah. This is your life. Yeah. Yeah. Remember, yeah. Again, remember, uh, Aim and Andrew used to give the people a book. Yeah, okay, but now we give people Bible and say, "This is your life." Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And not only that, but we put the word only in front of it. This is your only life. <laughs> <laughs> There's no other life. Glory to God, yeah. <laughs> <coughs> so you can't entertain them, okay? Mm. Time is fulfilled. Death is abolished. The Bible said that death has been abolished and immortality has been brought to light. Recognition. Okay? Mm-hmm. Death is gone. <coughs> and your birth is gone with it. How could you have a, a, a death with a, with, a, with a birth that gave you a beginning? That's gone with it. Your birth and your death have passed away, okay? Mm. You come out from God, you're going back to God. Glory to God. All evil has passed away, okay? All evil has passed away. In God, there's no more evil, okay? <coughs> because the tree of life is what we're eating, we're partaking. Christ, Christ made the tree of life, okay? All evil has passed away. Yeah, no more problems. <laughs> Sometimes you like to have problems, don't you know, and you kind of feel as if you're alive. <laughs> okay, and, and then look at the most part, my ministry with it. <laughs> because I am only a minister in the spirit. <clears throat> so you go. Yeah? Mm-hmm. Nobody has a ministry in the spirit, really. It's just Christ living, okay? Mm-hmm. Christ is a ministry. Christ is a ministry, okay? <clears throat> Oh, the rich one. <coughs> That's the bad news. Yes. That's lovely. That's very good yes. Sorry? That's lovely. The, you know, Christ is your ministry, you know? Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. There's no ministry, yeah. Because that's all that you pick, pick up the ministry every day. Yeah. God bless them. There's no ministry, you know? Yeah. 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 You're just, you're just, you know, Christ is in you as you, you know, a Richard Gavin and as yeah. Astrid. You're, you're, you're the form that Christ has today, you know? Yeah. And you don't have a ministry. You have Christ. <coughs> but if Richard and Astra are dead, dead, how does he live through them as them? <coughs> Say that again. Uh, if Richard and Astra are dead, as you've said it there, yeah. how does he actually move through them as them, if they're dead? <coughs> well, uh, by resurrection. But they have no personhood. Yeah, they have no personhood, yeah. Because the only person that raised them is the person who lives in them, through them. Christ. Okay, but then they don't have any personality, is what you're saying up there. No, no. <coughs> That, that's totally different. I'm talking about the whole, they don't have a nature in the sense of them being a person, an individual person, okay? The person of Christ lives through them with all the faculties that are present. Not faculties, whatever, whatever faculties Richard has there. So God lives me through all those faculties and enhances them and strengthens them and everything. Okay? So they do have individuality? <coughs> well, only in the sense that he's different from Astra. Yeah. But the individuality is totally different because that's just a different person. Different person, different person. Different person. Different person. but only one person to be more, because we're all members of Christ. Yeah? Okay. <coughs> well, actually, that's a different topic. We can look at that. Because I, I would like the opportunity to show people how Christ moves through people. Okay? And moves and how that actually happens. Because God has shown that to me. Okay? Because mm-hmm. again, all them questions, I studied it, I looked it up, and the witness came and saw it. You know what I mean? I can illustrate it clearly, you know, for you. Okay? Okay, I know you still want to hold on to your own life, I know, and I destroy it. <laughs> 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 okay, uh, we've got one or two more needs to go, okay? We past 12. <coughs> now, all of these things can only have power if I give them power. Because they all have to have self to exist, okay? Mm-hmm. But they're all the devil's parts in the natural realm. Mm-hmm. And now that I have passed away, they're all gone. Mm-hmm. Now I still have to exercise and believe that. Do you know what I mean? 
They have to be exercised and presented and believed. Mm -hmm. But it's the truth to begin with. It's the actual truth. I give. <coughs> I, I have to give them power. And what is it when you give something power? You're giving it substance. Okay. Mm -hmm. You're you're giving it identity. You're identifying that it exists. Okay. Even if you're going to fight sin, you're now fighting something that you have given the existence to. Mm -hmm. So now you have to fight it because you're already giving the existence. Okay. And you're just fighting yourself. <coughs> Are you with me? Mm -hmm. So everything is waiting for you to give it authority because all authority has been given to us. And everything only exists because Christ is in us, because he's the head of all things. It only exists because you give it existence. Okay, that's so important. Mm -hmm. Whatever we give existence to will exist. Okay? Mm -hmm. But if I say if I say that's so important, if I say it has no existence or no power over me, then there's no power over me. Mm -hmm. That's so hard. And when I say things like the print of this world comes and he has nothing in me, he has nothing in me. I know he does. That's true. Why? Because all the power and authority is given in me as me. So but that takes that takes that we have to stay there, to stand in it, to say it, to walk in it, to it over, over and over and to say it before people. Say it before the church force, say it before yourself in the middle. Mm -hmm. Okay, what you do with it? <clears throat> What's the acknowledgement of every good thing that we have in Christ Jesus? Philemon chapter 1, verse 6, the acknowledgement of every good thing that we have in Christ. Okay? Mm -hmm. Every good thing, not most of them. <clears throat> so there we have there. So self gives power to the law. Because law always operates on flesh. It has to have flesh and blood for God's law to operate. Because the law was for flesh and blood for people. That's where it can't be kept. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> so self gives power to the law. Law gives power to sin. And law brings the core sickness. So self is the problem. Mm -hmm. self is, sin was never the problem at all. Really. Self never was. The, sin never was. I kept blaming sin. But mm -hmm. sin was never the problem. And law. Law was never the problem. Because it was me. Law was never the problem. Either. It was the self. Self was the problem. Everything came to because... The authority had been given to man in the first place, so everything gets decided on him. Mm -hmm. Yeah? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And if I say I live in the flesh, then I live. Then sin is going to say, uh oh, oh, <coughs> my friend, let's go this way. <laughs> That's the only ground that we have. The only ground that we have! Yeah. <coughs> okay, now here we have it, okay. Now faith is the substance of things hoped for. The evidence of things not seen. So I just re paraphrase that for you. Okay, this is not in the Bible, but this is what I know it's saying. Okay, because faith is the giving of substance to things hoped for. Okay, mm -hmm. they only have substance when we give them substance. Okay, but if you refuse to recognize it, go to God. Okay, you can't have substance. <clears throat> Faith is the giving of something to things hoped for and, <clears throat> and the giving of evidence to things. When I say something has existence or whatever, I fight it, I'm giving it evidence. No, it has power. Mm -hmm. Where do they get the power? Yeah. That's where the whole idea of, of, of Jesus speaking, when he spoke about himself, he says, before Abraham was, I am. He's the only one. He's the only one that exists. You know what I mean? He was identifying the Father in him. And he was not going to identify, recognize himself at all. He's just identifying the Father in me, and the Father's in me as me, you know, I am. Mm -hmm. So in that sense, <coughs> he just knew who he was. And that's the whole idea of, of us growing and knowing who we are. Mm -hmm. But you have to know it in submission to the Father, you know what I mean? It's not something you know, no? it's not something. It's a, in him, your identity is in him all the time, you know? Mm -hmm. And him in you. It's not something you have in yourself, because then many of you might think you have in yourself, you're going back again, you know. Mm -hmm. So faith is the giving of substance to things hopeful and the giving of evidence to things not seen, yeah? Mm -hmm. Okay? Mm -hmm. That's all back to authority and submission. Mm -hmm. Number 20. <coughs> Do you not know, brethren, if I speak to those who know the law, that the law has dominion over a man as long as he lives? And <coughs> glory to God. And that's the whole basis of it, self Everything gets its power from self. As long as you're living, everything else has power over you. Okay? Because mm -hmm. the law, everything comes under God's law. Alright? So, it's okay. You destroyed the body of sin, it's okay. 
and pointed to the body of Christ. <clears throat> God sent forth his son, born of a woman, born under the law, which is under the law's false identity, his flesh and blood, okay? Mm -hmm. To redeem those who were under the law. Now Jesus was born under the law, but he didn't partake of a false identity. He lived by faith, which took him out of it. Do you understand? He had to live by his father, the faith in his father. And that meant he didn't come under the law. Although he was born under it, he didn't live under it. Do you understand? Mm -hmm. He didn't partake of the law. Mm -hmm. He didn't even partake of the flesh and blood. He lived in the spirit. But the law and flesh and blood go together. Okay? That we might receive the adoption of sons. Flesh and blood life can only exist under law. But, by, <coughs> but he lived by faith and did not partake of the law, which is only for the unrighteous. Remember when Paul told Timothy, the law, law is not made for a righteous man. It's made for an unrighteous man. So Jesus would, couldn't partake of it. Mm. He was a righteous man. Okay? Mm. Again, <clears throat> he didn't identify as a law at all. Although he was born of a woman underneath it. Like me, I was born of a woman under the law. You were born of a woman under the law. But then when I came into faith, <clears throat> I realized the law couldn't do me any good. I had to live by the Father. You know? Mm. That's all. It's, that's it. and faith is the giving of substance to things. Glory God. <clears throat> I give them substance. We are the middle, we're the centre. We are the seat of all of God's authority. That's what we said in the beginning. We are the seat of all of God's authority. Last one. <clears throat> I went back to this. <laughs> With this in mind, this is what Paul got this. Do not be deceived, God is not mocked. Whatever a man sows, that he will also. Mm -hmm. So you see, for moving in the spirit, for sowing in the spirit, for seeing things with spiritual eyes, mm -hmm. and we will sow properly. <laughs> okay? That's where that comes from. Paul knew that a man, whatever you sow, what you're going to do. You know? mm -hmm. He's not God, he's not mocked. So to the flesh, you're going to have problems with sin, sickness, disease. Okay, with well, all of the corruption of life. Mm -hmm. Because why? Because you, the authority is in you and you're sowing to it. Okay? Mm -hmm. Sowing into that. Planting the seed of it. The <coughs> word of God is seed. Every word that comes from your breath is a seed. Everything you say, glory to God, is a seed. You're planting it all the time. Okay? Until you wake up and commit to the Spirit, and you start sowing to the Spirit. In due season, we shall reap. So there's a due season of it, like we said before, okay? Mm -hmm. Transformation. <clears throat> As we have opportunity, let us do good to all, especially the household. Okay? That's the last one, okay? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So you see that there, but, um, you know, sowing to, sowing, what you were saying there earlier on, but sowing to... Spirit, flesh. No, well, yeah, and sowing in ignorance, and then you end up reaping what you've sown. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? But still, no, God will still turn that to good, won't he? Do you remember to ask him? Oh, he walked to the good, yeah. He walked to the good, even though, oh, sure, you know, yeah, like yeah. you said there earlier yeah. on, you know, reading things that you yeah, yeah. saw, but you did it in ignorance. Yeah. But still, nevertheless, God yeah. walks on that to good. Yeah. If you commit to faith, to Christ, yeah, 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 faith, yeah, you yeah. Yeah. <coughs> yeah. Of course, yeah. Yeah, yeah that's right. Hey. You know the whole thing of the person knowing and that, you know, not being an independent yeah. person. Yeah. So you you are still a person, it's just you're not independent person. Like you are still a person in God. All your life is coming from God. You're a vassal. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So all your life is coming from God. You're but you're not a you've no independent life, you've no independent mm -hmm. personhood. All your identity is coming from Christ. You said personhood. Mm. You've no personhood. No. Yeah, it's not because exactly. you've no so you're an expression of Christ, exactly, yeah. but you're still a member in particular. Member in particular, yeah. You know what I mean? Of course, yeah. Well, like that's, but your so personhood only exists in the flesh. The independent. Yeah, person, because <coughs> God is a person. Mm. You're not. You're a vessel for a person. Okay. Mm. Do you understand? Mm. So, yeah, yeah. so you want to get your personhood from <coughs> God. Yeah. Who is your head? He's your head. Okay, so yeah. being in your head, that's the only head to person. A person is in the head, okay? It's always in the head, the body's the vessel. Mm. So it's so important that, that, you see, that we see that clearly, you know? Yeah, yeah. You're not, you're not, you're not, personhood comes from God. Your person comes from God. And you're not two persons. Mm. Yeah. Just one. 
And just the, the other thing I was going to say is regarding the, you know the way you said, you, don't, you only, um, you only, people, so if something happens in your life, mm -hmm. it only happens with your permission. But then there is, there is like, uh, you know, man was given dominion in his, in his entirety, yeah, yeah. you know, so there is things that do happen in people's lives mm -hmm. as a result of man's overall yeah. corruption. Correct. It's not necessarily an individual corruption that would yeah. that brought it on them, yeah. or an individual yeah. permission. So it's kind of like we're all in it together, and yeah. people are suffering because of what other people are doing. Exactly. You know what I mean? Yeah. Um, so it's only because they join themselves to mankind to begin with. Mm. You understand? They may not have done it as an individual, but they did as an individual join themselves to flesh and blood. Mm. Okay. Mm. But they partook of it and they partake of everything that goes with it. Okay. They might not have that individual responsibility, but they have a corporate responsibility in it. You know? Yeah, yeah. You know? Because they're not submitting to that yeah, 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 exactly. Yeah, yeah. yeah. it's unbelief. I haven't called upon the name of Christ. Yeah, true. You know, so. <coughs> while, while man might and does do many things that have huge implications for mankind or for millions of people, yeah, yeah. the individual person doesn't necessarily engage in the, in the reaping of that. They can be above it and, and beyond mm -hmm. it. Yeah. 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 I was reading a part of the book recently, it's about the First World War, you know, the 100th anniversary is coming up at the end of the First World War. Mm -hmm. I was speaking about the, the terrible, terrible misery of people on the Western Front, all the idealistic young men, particularly from England, who came and signed up as a volunteer army to serve in the war, you know, of course their, their dreams were dashed to pieces, of course, on the Western Front, they were living in foul conditions and there was horrible things happening. But this, this writer, he was the chap who was the government sent out to report on the whole thing for the newspapers back home, he said that the people who stood out were people, he didn't even know how to describe it, but he was talking about people who had a real... Christian faith with a genuine faith, not the people who went out as Christians and they became gross themselves, you know, and they took enjoyment in their in the killing and they were just all completely pulled all over the place. But he said there was a there was a class of men that he had observed on the front who went, who went through and some of them obviously many of them died, many of them didn't die, but they never they were above it completely. He said well, he, he envied them, you know, and he could see that they had something that was not explainable. So even though they were subject to the Privations of that war, mm -hmm. they, they didn't get caught in it. They weren't, they weren't dragged into the mud of it, you know. Mm -hmm. it, was very, yeah. it, was a, it was a lovely testimony that and that's us too. No matter what, what's coming on the world, you know, um, they're not, I think, I you know, was talking about the, the sowing and reaping. They're very much, they're very much, I, I would relate that to very much individual choices and individual responses in our own heart, you know, that we are. You know that we have responsibility for not necessarily the big picture stuff we go through that and that doesn't we deal with it you know yeah. you may be yeah. walking out into a polluted environment mm. the air mightn't be clean here because of the cement factory down the road mm. but that's not that doesn't dictate the quality of our inner lives mm -hmm. but if i decide to go you know, i don't mean to pick them out but and smoke cigarettes now i'm I, I, am I, I am now responsible for that choice myself and you know that's not big. or it could be any number of things eat eat rotten food or whatever it might be, you know? mm -hmm. like that's something that I will have a choice. And I read from it and I might read and read this, oh my goodness, I'm doing something that's not right here. Or like if there's a higher way where the cement factory, mm -hmm. I might move to Dublin and there's, there's a bigger one there. So don't, don't worry about that stuff, you know. Mm -hmm. yeah, true. yeah, just one one uh, verse which came, came to mind when uh, Brother Mike was sharing that is God said, look, I, I said before you uh, good and bad life and death you know so it's everything is said in, in front of us he <coughs> says choose life choose yeah life. so yeah. he tells us what mm -hmm. it is so it is a choice yeah you know it is a choice to say i'm going to let this affect me or i'm not going to let this affect me yeah but like what mm -hmm. no was saying everything you know everything which is happening around you know people will look at it tell me what i people will look at it and because man has created it it's going to affect you in a certain way. But mm. if you don't al allow it to affect mm. you, or if you come to that realization mm. that, look, man, you know, I can't let this kind of thing affect me. Yeah. You know, it won't manifest, you know. Yeah. 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 The cities that we make mm. Mm. might appear harmless, you know. Mm. You know, we join ourselves to things, you know. 
he innocent, you know, and then later on find out, oh, I didn't know that's what that meant, you know. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It didn't take much for Adam either in the garden, like, like, to, to, to eat apple or eat, like, you know, it's yeah. just like, you know, it's just temptation itself, you know, and I get what you're getting at as well, like, sometimes, like, you can, you can kind of feel something coming on and you're like, you know, we should, should go to the Lord about this, and then sometimes you just kind of go, ah, Lord, you know, stay over there, I, 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 I just want to do this, you know, yeah. and then um, it's, it is, it's just about, like you're saying, the head, like in the mind, the mind is in the head. That's 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 what I'm finding lately, you know. And, you know, it's just talking to Keon about it this morning as well, you know, like you're saying, the peace of God which passes all understanding it says, guard your minds and then your heart. Because yeah. when your mind is in the right place, your, your heart follows. Your heart follows yeah. your mind, you know. And, and, and vice versa, like, you yeah. know. And, uh, you know, that's, that's, that's just what I'm, I'm learning now lately, like, you know, it's about. Um, you know, it is about them choices. Like, yeah. Yeah. Just when we talk about getting self the things, if, if we believe, if we believe in sickness and disease, we reap it mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. because we believe it. Yeah. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Because I'm giving it. So you know what I mean? Like, yeah. But that that takes a bit of perseverance because obviously we're toning away. Right? Repentance is toning around and going the other way. You know? Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Like, but that's it, we're getting subjects to things, you know. Mm -hmm. That's the Bible things, by the way, things. Yeah. <laughs> Everything is a thing, you know. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Mm -hmm. What I was getting at as well, like, you know, do you know, do you know when you get a thought, right? When you get a thought, just say it's a negative thought, you know. And then when you get a negative thought, an emotion attaches with it. Attaches with it, it is, yeah. you know, yeah, true, and then it's yeah. kind of like oh, talk, and then it's like oh, oh and then yeah. the emotion attaches, and then you start yeah. going off in one, you see, yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, you know, and it's about pulling pulling yourself back, back into in into the alignment of that, like you know, yeah, and then um, you know, like the scripture says as well, you know, like take take your thought to take, camp, yeah, 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 to to the to the mind of Christ. So it's not, it's it's about taking them them thoughts, them things.